tonight he confides over the future of the Rise Grand Championship. And before we go off the air, we are gonna find out the future of Rise Wrestling and more importantly, the future of that very Grand Championship right now. Jim, I've been here with you the whole time, but I've just been taking this all in. This is unbelievable. And if anyone doubts the franchise's ability to keep Ron Mathis in check, let's keep in mind that Shane Douglas will stand up to anybody. Shane Douglas stood up to 50 years of tradition. Shane Douglas stood up to corporate executives before it was the trendy thing to do. Shane Douglas will make sure that Ron Mathis cannot worm his way out of this title defense. It's a genius move on the part of Rise Management to get an official, maybe the only man in the world that can keep Ron Mathis in check. Obviously this partisan Rise crowd that has jam-packed this building once again this, this month wants to see Tag Jarvis and this reign of terror at the hands of Ron Mathis. You can see Chris LaRusso out there just worried about lawsuits. I don't blame him one bit. Ron Mathis is a corporate nightmare. What I said earlier about Money Shot representing this company with those tag titles and what a great job they do. I mean, Ron Mathis, the opposite when you want someone to represent your company. Yeah, I don't agree with Money Shot and I don't agree with Ron, but at least they're presentable. Ron's walking around here with our grand championship like a piece of trash. If you really want a rise PR disaster, let Ron Mathis loose because there's no telling what that guy can do. And there you see it, the legendary franchise presenting the Grand Championship. Tad Jarvis seeing what's on the line here. I'll tell you right off the bat, Shane Douglas shows he definitely knows what he's doing as an official. But Ron Math is not afraid to get into the face of the franchise. Shane Douglas broke into this sport over 30 years ago. Over three decades of experience in the ring wars for Shane Douglas. Whoa, whoa! And he will not back down from anyone. Whoa! I don't think Ron expected Shane to have that kind of fight in him. Trust me, partner, we know that nature boys and heartbreak kids couldn't stand up to the verbal tirade of Shane Douglas. I don't think Pure Trash wants another tongue lashing from Shane Douglas. Ronnie tried to catch Tad off guard. And there's the bell, we are underway. Tad Jarvis getting his shot at the Grand Championship. And I am interested to see Shane Douglas at the outset said he was going to call this down the middle. But you don't pie face the official and expect to get those calls. So we'll see how this night goes. Jarvis could, could end this one early. Cross body. And we got a pretty even count there. 
Vox hits the floor, but you can't turn your back on Ron Mathis. Out goes the champion. And I don't think the franchise is gonna weigh a count quite yet, but look out. Tad Jarvis takes out everybody. Tonight may be the night for the social media icon to claim the championship. And here we go. Things are about to get unhinged. And we know the ring wouldn't contain this one. This action is going all over the place already. My view's a little obstructed here, but it looked like an eye poke from Ron. Jarvis able to turn the tables. And I believe Mathis went face first in, oh geez. Here we go, here we go. Ty, they come over here, I'm running. I know, I I'm, know. I'm gonna shock the we whole We do it every world. month, we talk about it every month. I'm out of here. I'm not staying around. Worst part, Jim, is with this new table, if they put us through it, I don't think we'll break it. Well, pure trash is in the trash. Look at all that dust. Ron oh, Mathis looks no. like pig pen. I think they emptied a vacuum cleaner out into that can. Well, I hope Ron Mathis doesn't have allergies. At this point, he might have black lung. Voxy takes a shot, but that was just enough distraction. Oh, man, what a hard shot from Mathis. And this is as wild as we thought it was gonna be. Wait, Tab's blocking the suplex. Oh! You heard the splat on the concrete. And when Shane Douglas winces at an impact, you know it was brutal because Shane Douglas has been through the wars. And we're seeing a war unfold in front of us right here, Ty Cross. Oh wait, Vox has got Jarvis's leg. Oh, look out. Oh! The body oh, of no. Jarvis absolutely racking off the apron. And Douglas looks concerned. And Tad, he may be hurt. Dropping that big elbow. I don't know if Jarvis is going to be able to continue. And of course, Douglas doesn't want to disqualify anybody here because that's allowing Ron Mathis to escape with the championship without a definitive winner. But you have to wonder about the health of Tad Jarvis. We've seen Ron Mathis injure opponents in the past. And they're back in the ring. Top. Wait, inside cradle! But man, math is like a pit bull. Ty, this is getting a little hard to watch. 
Well, Jarvis had an early barrage, and it was very impressive, but once you get out on that floor with Ron Mathis, and I say it that's, month that's in and his month territory. out, you're in the water with a shark. And Ty, I'm not trying to sell Jarvis short, but you and I both know that Ron Mathis is dangerous. Oh no! Right along that spine. Douglas is asking if Jarvis wants to quit, but there's no quitting Tad. This crowd getting behind Tad, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to help him. Tad Jarvis just being absolutely brutalized. Ron Mathis telling Shane Douglas, the franchise, there's nothing he can do about it. Oh! You know, Ron Mathis is a classless bastard, I'll tell you that. Yeah, like, but a ballsy one. He's looking to end Jarvis right now. Oh! Wow! You know, that shows you just how low class Ron Mathis is. Jarvis cracked the door open a little bit here. Let's see if he can kick it in. Very precarious situation here. Those chairs all settled. Nestled quietly under that. Oh no! Under that corner and there is the superplex. Pure violence for the grand championship here tonight. And you can see the pain and the exhaustion etched on the faces of these competitors here. Tad Jarvis caught Ronnie looking. Here we go, what's this now? Jarvis gotta dig deep, he's gotta go to another place here. The violence is escalating here, Ty Cross. Like that right there. Cover! I don't know how Mathis escaped, but he got his shoulder up. That made me drop my headset and walk away. Those chairs are destroyed. As someone who appreciates a good spine buster, that was a little far for me, Jim. We're gonna get the spear. Jarvis could be measuring Mathis. Could be closing in on the championship. Oh my God. Huge collision mid ring. Jarvis took a knee right to the temple. Jarvis could be on Dream Street. And if he wasn't before, he is now. Wait, no. The hand made contact but the shoulder was up first. That was a good call from Douglas. Getting the call right, you're right. That, that is how officiating is done, Jim. The hand came down, but the shoulder came up. It is imperative to get it right, and Shane Douglas was able to do that right there. That's veteran officiating from the franchise. But if that doesn't keep Jarvis down, what will come from the twisted mind of pure trash Ron Mathis? That's a long way to go for Ron, especially with a bad back.
Jarvis got out of the way and got lucky at the same time. Spear! He might have it. Oh no, Voxy! Tad Jarvis should be the grand champion. He had it one. He had it one, Ty. I don't think Vox is gonna like what he finds when he turns around. And Douglas has had enough of Tyler Vox. Damn it. The kick connects. Flush. Jarvis could be closing in on the biggest moment of his career. Jim, this action is outrageous. The franchise getting physically involved with Tyler Vox. The spear and the super kick. And what do we have now? I truly hope this is not what I think it is. It is. I'm used to seeing Legos, but not this. We got thumbtacks. This is getting very, very dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. Jarvis teetering right in front of the tax. Mathis puts on the brakes. Oh no. Running stampede. Ah! Onto the ah! tax. Douglas is in shock. Not as in shock as Tad Jarvis, who might literally go into shock. And Tad's still trying to get up, Jim. Jarvis has tax sticking in his body. And he's still fighting off that pile driver. He connected. With lacerations on his torso, Tad Jarvis is still fighting. Wait, no, no. What the hell is Jason Hendricks doing out here with a crowbar? He swung that damn crowbar like a baseball bat. And I think he connected directly into the head of Tad Jarvis. And like a thief in the night, he's gone. Tad Jarvis, his body may be broken. His career might be over, Jim. And Mathis mocking Shane Douglas as he just spiked Tad on his head. Damn it. Jason Hendricks blindsided Tad Jarvis with a damn crowbar. Hendricks 
may have broken the body of Tad Jarvis. And when Tad Jarvis is conscious again, it may break his heart that his opportunity at the Grand Championship was dashed by the great success. Tad's gonna need help. I think Tad is in serious trouble. And Mathis is gonna force the franchise to raise his hand. Kidding me? He just he just sucker punched Shane Douglas. We need help out here right now. Ron Mathis is assaulting the franchise. Cal Poke Paul hits the ring. This is chaos. The franchise goes low. Belly to bellies! Wow! And that is signature Shane Douglas. Cal Poke and Shane Douglas with a measure of revenge. But where does this leave Rise Wrestling? Ty Cross, we gotta get out of here. For Rise Media, I'm Jim Amata. He's Ty Cross. We'll see you back here in Uniontown November 11th for the second annual Rise Tag Team Invitational. I won't be here November.